Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, Hindustan Aeronautics will produce and complete the first flight of FOC standard Tejas SP-21 in October 2019. Hindustan Aeronautics has already started working on SP-21, and the airframe will soon move to final assembly, where it will get new equipment which was demanded in FOC standard, which includes in-flight refueling probe and upgraded mission computer software. Hindustan Aeronautics has promised that it will deliver the last single-seater SP-16 by end of March 2019, and the Tejas trainer jets from SP-37 to SP-40, will be produced after the completion of single-seater jets in FOC standards. According to latest reports, the fate of the $8 billion future infantry combat vehicle project for the Indian Army, is now expected to be sealed when the Secretary of Defense Production will meet with the stakeholders next week. According to reports, there are differences of opinion between the Indian Army and the Ministry of Defense, which has decided to put the critical program under the Make-2 category, and the reason was to fast-track the process of modernizing the armored vehicles of the Army. If everything is cleared during the meeting next week, then the project will go to the Defense Acquisition Council for approval. After Ukraine offered its AN-178 and AN-132 to India, to replace its Savro and AN-32 fleet, Russia has now offered the IL-112 light military transport aircraft to India, which is currently going through pre-flight preparations for its debut flight this year. Meanwhile, military experts have suggested to procure Tartu Airbus Consortium C-295 aircraft that is proposed to be made in India, and expand the current orders for 56 aircraft into around 170, so that both AN-32 and Avro aircraft can be replaced by the C-295. The Russian government launched a protest against India's decision to award contracts to South Korea, for 100 self-propelled anti-aircraft defense system. The Indian Army selected the Biho hybrid self-propelled anti-aircraft defense system as a candidate for acquisition, after a bidding process involving a number of foreign manufacturers. The Russian defense minister publicly expressed dissatisfaction with the decision on the sidelines of a military conference between the two countries on the 18th of December. Russia has followed this up by sending an official request to the Indian Defense Ministry asking it to re-evaluate the bidding process. The RDO chief Dr. Satish Reddy has said that defense systems over 2.75 lakh crore rupees have either been inducted into the Indian Armed Forces or would be joining them soon. The DRDO chief also listed the advanced towed artillery systems, Nagi TGMs for the Indian Army, and heavy weight torpedoes for the Navy, along with the Akash air defense systems which would be used by both the Air Force and the Army. He also said, that the Army has a requirement of more than 50,000 ATGMs, and the DRDO can also engage the private sector to speed up the production. As part of New Delhi's space diplomacy, India is setting up five large ground stations and more than 500 small terminals in five neighboring countries. The move to set up tracking and receiving centers will also put in place strategic Indian assets on their soil, and the Indian Space Agency can use these ground stations to communicate with its own satellites. The first of the five ground stations is coming up in Bhutan, and it will be ready for commissioning on the 9th of January, and may be inaugurated as early as the 15th of January. France has emerged as the top country for Aero India 2019, and with the representation from 43 companies, France has outstripped US and Russia. The second largest foreign representation is from the US with 27 companies, and Boeing and Lockheed Martin are expected to showcase their aircraft, as they are among the six companies who have responded to the Indian Air Force's request for information for 110 fighter jets.